The third option that I showed you in that first video was using the Canvas Syllabus tool. Remember the Canvas Syllabus tool has other parts to it. It's not just an empty folder for you to put your file, your syllabus file into. As you can see here, this is an empty syllabus, by the way. Right now I haven't added anything to it. It goes and grabs the assignments that are in my course already. So it went out and found five assignments, their due dates, and it populated that list for me. You can see over in this, the calendar it also shaded those dates for me based on the deadlines of those assignments. So that's just part of how the syllabus tool is built. There's no way to turn those things off. If I want to work within it, I could still have it. I have an edit button and I could put my syllabus content, my file or a link to my file in this area at the top. So I hit my edit button and this should look similar to the page that we were building um, when I showed you the option, the first option of building a home page, I could say something like syllabus, uh, uh, syllabus, and then have PDF, and maybe I want to highlight this. That's the link I want to be my hyperlink. I come over to files over in my content selector pane. If it's a brand new file that I haven't uploaded yet, then I'm going to click, click upload. If it's one that I've uploaded, you can see how, how many times I've uploaded this already. I should be able to select it from these ones as well. And then it just highlights it yellow showing that it's hyperlinking it. Update syllabus. You'll see that now I do have a link to my syllabus in there. I could expand that preview so that it sits just like that as a preview. Um, it's also come up how to get that preview to stay open. So if I edit this, I click into that syllabus hyperlink. If I go back to my link to URL um, icon, I can say auto open the inline preview for this link. That means it'll automatically open that preview and then hit update link update syllabus. And now if I go home and come back to syllabus, it automatically opens that uh, PDF. Now that's not how I showed it to you in the very beginning in, in option, when I showed you option three in that first video, um, I actually had copy and pasted the syllabus information into the file, the syllabus tool itself. So if I download that syllabus, and mine is a PDF, so this is not going to be pretty. But if I copy all of this, ooh, it's not going to be pretty at all. And I edit then I should be able to paste. But do you see what I mean about it not being pretty? The content is here, but you're going to end up doing a lot of reformatting oof, in order to get it to look really nice in here. Um, like this is going to be header two, this is going to be header three, and then this is going to be paragraph. So I got to go in here and put return characters. You can see the work effort that would be involved in actually copying and pasting the syllabus into this syllabus tool. Now it's not in impossible um, and you'll have a nice accessible syllabus tool that students don't have to download when you get through this. I'm going to hit update syllabus just so that you can see that there's the link to the file. Here's the content that I copy and pasted that I would still need to reformat a lot. Um, and there's the assignments down there at the bottom. Okay. Notice I did have that file preview pop open, so that's always there too. Okay, that was the third of three options for adding your syllabus to your Canvas course. And in this option, I showed you using the Canvas syllabus tool. If you don't like this option and you want to use one of the other two options, you can always go to settings, go to navigation, and hide that syllabus tool. Once it's hidden, Go to home and students no longer have uh, visibility to that syllabus tool. They'll just be seeing the file wherever you have it linked, either on your home page or in your module. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.